Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use AWS glue jobs in AWS step functions and their executions. The prerequisites of this course, I have been making another video which is a how to create a glue jobs and run it. Same jobs I'm going to use it in a AWS step functions. So I log in into that in AWS console. And you can see my glue job is running okay and uh, for watching that video you can see that in my previous one I'm going to tag it and here you can see my YouTube it, no, glue job is running and it's created that in a table employee and departments okay and uh, in data source it is running in that in a uh, output in that in a s3 bucket so what we'll do i'll just remove that in all this data before uh, running it because i want to make sure uh, this is getting run by that in a step functions and then we are able to see that in a output again okay so i clean up that in output folder is not there at the moment and uh, this is the glue one and job is configured now i'll open that in aws step functions okay aws aws step if you want ctio step functions here we have a, a step function so AWS step functions is assemble functions into the business critical applications right and how it will work there is a more than one jobs we can run it so if you have a glue jobs more than one you can configure out so get it started and uh, i'll close that in all uh, what i'll do i'll just this is the start and then our functions and then end so i'll search it here that in a glue okay And you can see here we have AWS glue jobs. So just we have to drag and drop. Now we need a name of the jobs. So I'll go over here and copy that in a name of the job, whatever it is there. And it will select over here. And you can see in the job name, just we have to type the name of the whatever job you have. Uh, other than that, it is nothing required. Just click on the create. If you have a more than one job, then you can do and configure. So job got created and you can see in output folder, nothing is there. And I'm going to run that in a this step functions. And uh, in the designer, you can see at the moment, nothing is there, a state mechanism and all. So I'll just select this one and start executions. This comment is not required because we are not passing anything. We'll say uh, AWS glue job running with running with STP if you and CTIUNS functions. Okay, and a start. Uh, now it's uh, started and you can see here uh, it's bought and you can see here in there is one in other jobs it will be there in the pipeline okay not yet invoked Yeah, so you can see it is there in the running state. Uh, because we don't have anything at the moment, this is the output and it's in corner, it's a status got 200, meaning it's success and it's called it. The details also we can see the job 
it is a execution has started right and uh, once it is complete then again it will be updated we'll wait for that until unless this is going to complete or in this skins also we can see once this execution is completed or not okay will be take a some time all right so it's got success and uh, you can see i can see in glue uh, screens is success here also we'll see and if i'll do that in a refresh of uh, this uh, screen uh, you can see executions completed it may be okay and you can see here okay so it may be in a down we can see false or true okay task succeeded and execution succeeded as well now the third thing we have to see here if i refresh we'll get that in a so many files and this is the files we created so what to happen we use that in a step functions to call that in a glue job and with help of that, uh, this will be also help it out if you have a AWS view, uh, because in that we have a limitations of a more than two table in the project. So multiple jobs you can create it and attach into that in AWS functions. Okay, so that is all about for this video. And thanks for watching. Please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.